Hello everybody. This is Robotnik is sexy with my uh, battle video again. Um, this is video number 16 and it's overused and it's against this nice man person uh, called Murko who I uh, met through my Facebook group actually but it also happens uh, to be a fact that he um, uploads his own Pokemon videos and actually has a uh, quite active uh, YouTube channel. So I'm gonna put that in the description. And sorry guys, this is a really long one, so I had to turn the animations off because uh, I don't know how to use a computer, <laughs> uh, which is uh, really dumb. Um, I should probably just fix that. Um, but oh well, um, it'll make the video shorter. And, uh, you know what Waterfall looks like, right? Okay, turn one. We exchange those Stealth Rocks. Um. I, uh, go for that roar. Bring out Mr. Gengar, which is great. But, kind of doesn't matter. Because he's not sashed. Because he's the Pain Splitter. And, uh, instead of finishing him off, like I could have done, I, uh, wrote him out because I was curious to see what other team guys he had, and he brings out this guy, and I'm like, whoa. And I was like, whoa, Pursuit? That's, uh, that's really unique on, uh, Snorlax. I would have never, never imagined that. And, uh, <laughs> if I had switched out, that Pursuit would have almost killed me, actually, so that's, like, that's, like, uh, really impressive. Um... Go back into Swampert after roaring a couple times. Decide it's a good uh, turn to try to set up those uh, Toxic Spikes. And I was expecting a Surf or Ice Beam, because I already saw an Ice Beam from him. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. Maybe this guy's all special. He probably isn't. I was expecting the Ice Beam more than anything. Um, but he just roars me out, because... Uh, because um, it's a really good tactic uh, when combined with Stealth Rocks. And yeah, he roars me. And I get Gyarados, and I really didn't want to see Gyarados, because that means he takes that Stealth Rock damage, and that is going to mess him up really bad. Uh, <laughs> that one Stealth Rock hit will pretty much guarantee his uh, imminent death in uh, a couple turns. Um, goes up into this Gyarados, who, um, is, uh, a real monster. I had to burn through, uh, two teammates just to put this guy down, and, uh, put me at a real disadvantage at the start. And, um, yeah, if it isn't a common known fact by now, um, this team I'm using right now, if you taunt it, I will lose, because um, um, they're all really slow, and they all require setup, so if, if you do that, it will be bad, I will lose, and I will cry, and, uh, huh. yes, background noises, high quality video recording, that's what my channel is all about, guys. Um, lucky for me, he doesn't taunt me. He wants to Dragon Dance way too much, which is fine. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm like really, really afraid of that taunt because I can't burn or gravity when I'm taunted, obviously. But I get that taunt, or not taunt, I get the burn, which is great, and uh, go for that damn damn blah 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 go for the punch, and I get a critical, and that's why I did so much damage, and uh, did a lot of damage, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of damage, and, um, yeah, he doesn't hit himself ever, uh, in this match, actually, I don't, no, I don't think he hits himself in confusion ever, and I have two dynamic punchers, so that kind of sucks, but um, it just brought the match closer together, really. Um, 
so it's no big deal. Uh, he snaps out of confusion immediately and taunts me, which is sad. So I was really, really hoping he would hit himself in confusion and I would get to free Trick Room and I would get to Calm Mind and I would get to do lots of really awesome stuff, but I can't. And uh, since I blew away those Stealth Rocks with that rapid spin on the Tempter Crew, um, I go into the sky and I very foolishly believe that I can... Um, set up on this turn while he um, just quietly dies from burn damage, but uh, not only is that not true because of his leftovers, but he kills me with the stone edge and uh, I'm losing my train of thought because my roommate is really, really obnoxious. Um, goes into that guy and and ooh he doesn't taunt me which I'm really really happy about um and I don't get flinched either which is great 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 and I put up those toxic spikes and this is when the match gets kind of weird um he does some things that pretty much uh ensure my victory like he uh I really can't tell you what he's trying to th uh, do or what he's thinking right now. He switches out his Zapdos three times, like giving 75% damage to his Zapdos, and I, I don't think he even uh, roosts, um, so I don't know, like, and then he uh, makes a uh, pretty bad mistake, he, uh, I guess he was over-predicting, or he went completely insane and tried to fire blast a Tentacruel. And, as you know, Tentacruel can take like 18 fire blasts and uh, keep on trucking, no problems. So that is a wasted turn. And I get up my second layer, and I surf kill him, and he goes back into Snorlax, and I'm kind of still afraid of Snorlax, because I know... He is an utter monster in the fourth game metagame, and uh, I also know that most Snorlax in the world know rest. So that really nice toxic spike damage is not going to do anything, is what I'm thinking. And uh, I soak up a return, he decides to switch out, I don't know why, like this guy is so switch happy. Uh, and if he wasn't, uh, he probably would have beaten me, uh, maybe. Like. Um, I don't know if I got lucky, or if he just played badly, or what, but I do um, eventually r wiggle out a win, but it was a very, very close match, and it was very good, and um, switches again. Don't know what he's doing. Um, like once I used Trick Room, he just pressed the switch command over and over and over. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm I'm cool with that, I'll just uh, power up and then kill you, and, uh, yeah, happy trails. And uh, goes into Swampert, who is nicely badly poisoned, which is wonderful, and I love it, because this, uh, this Swampert is actually, like, a proper Swampert. And make, oh, he makes a really good play, I was gonna, I was assuming he would attack me, because I'm, like, dumb, um, but he, uh, roars me, so, um... My levels of Calm Mind are gone and stuff. Uh, puts me into this guy, and I de-punch him, and I don't think he hits himself ever. Um, but Earthquake doesn't do too much, because uh, he's a proper Swampert, and he's probably all defense and HP, unlike mine, because mine's uh, bad, and I am bad, so that is why it's bad. Um... Yeah, dimensions return back to normal, which is uh, a bad sign. So I go into this guy, really trying to set up that trick room again, and uh, I dodge an earthquake, which is a nice little plus. Um, I I looked really really cool. I uh, looked like I was predicting that, but I wasn't, because yeah. Again, excuse my roommate who is a person. <laughs> Um, yay, poison damage, yay, and, uh, I predict the earthquake this time, 
And, uh, yeah, all those confusion hits that happened, uh, they didn't happen, and now he snaps, because it's been like four turns or five turns. But that's fine, because I predict the earthquake, and I've had a lot of coffee, so I can talk faster. And, uh, he goes down to his own, um, poison damage, and here he goes to Zepdos again, and, uh, look at that. Oh, man, um, such a waste of Zepdos. Like, I have a... <laughs> I have a I have a small loathing for Zapdos. Um, it's not like I really hate him. Uh, I know he's the strongest bird of the three, um, but when you pair him with uh, Heatran, it's a real, really good combo. Cause uh, everything Heatran is weak to, Zapdos is like immune to or resistant to. So yeah, kids, if you want to make me mad, use Heatran and Zapdos, and use Trick a lot and uh, use Taunt a lot, and I will be crippled and I will lose. Uh, especially Scarftran, uh, in my last video, yeah, Scarftran trumps everything I have in my game, like, it's just, man, I just need a Scarf Flygon or something, I could just need to totally conform and get all of those really cool Scarf guys, um, goes into this dude, and I think I trick roomed, I don't know, I didn't really see, and he gets a crit, but and so that means that I will no longer be living, and uh, I pass away and enter the afterlife. But that's fine, because uh, this guy is uh, taking a lot of damage, and uh, I'm like, oh man, he's going to rest. But he doesn't rest. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing, guys? He's not resting. He uh, basically decided to lose. Basically. But, um... I found it to be a really entertaining match, and, uh, finally got to fight this guy. Finally! Like, I've been asking him on, uh, Facebook for a long, long time. And then, yeah, I get it. So, yeah, I might do another battle before the day is out, because I'm unstoppable, and upload, like, five videos a day, because I... Am really weird. Um, but yeah, see you later, alligators.